one. I'm Loriana Hernandez. First tonight, two men are being held in the Travis County Jail tonight, arrested for the aggravated sexual assault of a child. And we want to warn you, the details of this story are graphic and might not be appropriate for younger viewers. Fox Events Alex Villarreal joins us live in the studio with the latest. Alex. Loriana, the bond for the suspects is $30,000 each, plus an immigration detainer. Police say a cell phone gave them a major break in the case, and it belonged to one of the suspects. I think it's really sick. I mean, it's a lot of kids in this area, a lot of kids. Shaniqua Jupiter has two kids living with her at the Avalon Palms Apartments in the 9300 block of Northgate Boulevard. I have a boy and I have a girl. Her daughter is the same age as the 13-year-old victim who tells police she was sexually assaulted by 10 to 13 men at apartment 292, which overlooks the pool. Austin police reports show on June 29th, the 13-year-old girl ran away from the settlement home, a transitional living facility that also provides foster care. She was approached by three Hispanic men in a white car near the intersection of Peyton Gin Road and Galewood Drive then brought to the Avalon Palms apartments. These are booking photos of two of the men arrested, police say, for their involvement. 24-year-old Juan Lozano Ortega and 26-year-old Edgar Gerardo Guzman Perez. The teen victim tells police she was taken inside an apartment where Ortega forced himself on her as the others cheered him on and recorded the assault on their cell phones. All the men took turns having sex with her against her will. A forensic exam revealed injuries consistent with her claims. And it's sad that we can't even let, let, let our children go outside or have them carry pepper spray and knives at, at 13. That's sad. Leticia Rodriguez is another resident at Avalon Palms, which has no security on site or functioning security cameras. They don't even give us a, like a, a note or something to say, well, this and this happened. Uh, please be careful with your kids and, and do not let them go out. Or, they don't tell us nothing. The affidavit shows the assault lasted until early into the morning of June 30th. Then the victim was driven to a nearby neighborhood and told to find somewhere to go. Police say they were able to track Ortega and Perez from the phone call the girl made to her foster brother with their cell phone. She was able to make it back on her own to the settlement home. Neither Austin police or the settlement home are commenting at this time. Management for Avalon Palms Apartments say they will be releasing flyers to all tenants informing them of this incident soon.